Hey everyone, this is Andrew Town. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I've got here my UX303U and in a previous video I've already shown how to take out the solid state drive and I've replaced it with a one terabyte drive instead, which is uh, four times more capacity. And if you check the link in the description, you'll see the tutorial for that. So the next step here is that because I put a new solid state drive in, what I'm going to be doing is to do a fresh install of Windows 10. So I've created a USB Windows 10 installer. I also have another tutorial about how to create one of these. So uh, if you follow the link in the description, you'll see that tutorial. So what I'm going to be doing is to insert this USB drive into the side of the laptop. And then we're going to be basically booting and then installing Windows 10. So I've got the USB drive attached to the side. What I'm going to be doing is press the power button and as the computer is starting up, I'm going to be pressing the F2 key like this. And this will bring us into the BIOS settings. And then what I'm going to do is to go into the side section here and go into the boot section and then just make sure that our SanDisk drive is actually available as a boot option. And what I'm going to do is to change the boot priority one to the SanDisk USB drive. And then I'm gonna press save changes and exit. And what this will basically do is it will see the SanDisk USB drive first and it will boot off the Windows 10 installer instead of trying to boot off the internal solid state drive. So once the installer windows come up, all we need to do is to click next and then install now. Here we're just gonna exit the license terms and click next. So what we have here is the unallocated solid state drive, which I've already installed. And I'm gonna select that and then click next. So that is going to start and then complete the installation of Windows 10. Then all you need to do when you finish this is to continue the standard setup for Windows 10, which is the same for every other computer. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.